Once again, I told you that we are looking in uh, Matthew, how Jesus himself was tempted, and we're gonna pick up in verse five. It says, then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. So here, Satan is saying, listen, it is written. Where is it written? It's in Psalms 91. This is scripture. And so what he's doing is he is actually taking scripture and tweaking it, manipulating it in such a way to make it look like truth, but it's not truth. He's perverting it in such a way. And I mean, just think about it. This is Satan. And he's talking to the word of God. Jesus. In John 1, it says that Jesus is the word clothed in flesh. So he's talking to the word of God and trying to manipulate him with scripture. How crafty is that? If the enemy will use scripture and try to manipulate the word of God, how much more will he try to take a truth and try to tweak it and manipulate it so that we will bite, so that we will jump out and make an action that we don't tend to make? How much more will he do that with us? Satan is a counterfeit who promises to offer what only God can offer. He promises freedom. He promises love, joy, excitement, all these different things that only Jesus, only God can give us these things. But yet, they're just looking as real as possible. It's fake. It's to mimic it. It's one of the enemy's devices, presenting something that is fake as real. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen says, but I am not surprised. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. This is Satan, he's disguising himself, tweaking something to look like something, but it's not real. 